Hey there, today I'm going to help you get your middle splits. Um, I'm going to start off with a few stretches because the stretches really make you um, go into your splits. So you need the stretches um, and you do them every day. Um, I would suggest each of them for at least 30 seconds. Also, before you start, make sure that you warm up. Um, you don't want to pull a muscle or anything. Be conscious of your body. If it is hurting so much, um, make sure that you stop. But there is expected like pain um, with these stretches, obviously. But if it's unbearable, then I suggest you stop. Um, also, there is a really great trick that um, I don't know if most of you guys will learn how to do this, but I learned this and that's how I was all able to get into my splits all the way down and it's to relax and as easy it might, as it might sound it's actually not um, when you're in so much pain you the last thing you would expect to do is relax but that's the trick you have to like take some deep breaths just relax because if you think about it if you're tensed up if you tense up your muscles are they gonna stretch no um, but if you just like relax your muscles, you're going to see yourself going down. And what I would do is turn my pain into like, like pleasure, I guess. Like, like, you know how you're stretching your, your wrist or something. Like if you're stretching your wrist, you're like, oh, it feels good. Like just think of it that way. And I know it sounds hard and it's kind of ridiculous sounding, but it's, that's the trick. And if you get it, then great. But if you don't, then it's still possible, but it's a lot harder to get this. Also, don't expect to get this in like one day because that's like, that's not really how these things go. Um, in my last splits video, people were like saying, oh, it doesn't work and stuff like that. So well, it's because you're not committed. Like you have to be committed to this. So do it every single day. You could do it maybe when you wake up and when you go to sleep. So I have for you six stretches, and these are just the six that came to my head um, and that I have used before. Um, I'll try to go from easiest to hardest, and the hardest is the splits itself, and I'm going to start now. The first stretch I'm going to start off with is a one leg straddle, and I don't even know if it's called that, but that's what I'm going to call it. So I'm going to go like this, and this is a straddle, but this if you put your leg this way, then I guess it's a one leg straddle, and you're not going to reach to your side, you're actually going to reach in front of you, so I'm going to go this way because this is awkward. Um, I'm going to reach in front, and that's going to stretch right here in the area where you need to get your split. The second stretch I'm going to do is I don't know the name of it but I'll show you so it's like this it's like here I guess it's a spider-man I'm gonna call it a spider-man and it's stretching right here so hold this for 30 seconds and switch and hold that for 30 seconds too the next stretch is your frog stretch and the frog stretch is like this you're gonna go down like a frog and when you do this your hips should be in line with your knees so it shouldn't be like this you shouldn't be all the way over here you shouldn't be all the way back here you should be directly over just like your middle splits the next stretch after that is your straddle so I'm going to do a straddle and um, it's a pancake so you're gonna drop all the way down like that but obviously you're not going to get that right away so a stretch I came up with is I call it, like to call it the the sweeper so I'm going to put my hands on one side and I'm going to reach all the way across and like sweep my hands to go to the other side and while I'm doing this my chest is going forward so like this like that but it's not going to help if you just go like that you need to bring your chest down and out like this like you're a ballerina and do that hmm 
you could do that like 10 or 20 times until you feel yourself getting lower and lower and then you can go all the way down and try to hold it for 30 seconds and remember to try to relax your muscles once you're done with that the next stretch is the wall and I don't need you okay so you're going to do a straddle you're going to lay your back and you're going to put your foot against the wall so like this and you're just gonna hold that and the force of gravity will push your legs down and you'll feel the stretch immediately and when you're doing this keep your legs straight and point your toes too because yeah if you bend your knees then you're not gonna feel the stretch you need to point them and um, lock them out another stretch which is like a half middle split and this is this is how you do it so like you're like this and you're just going to go forward like this. Make sure that you're going over your hips and that you're not. So if I turn sideways, I should be completely in line. The last one is um, your splits, but you're not just going to go all the way out here and do it. You're actually going to go against the wall because then it teaches you the correct position you're supposed to be in. If I do my splits this way, I'm more tempted to go all the way forward. Or maybe all the way, actually not all the way back, that hurts more. So you might be tempted to go like this so that the pain isn't as um, terrible. But what you should be doing is this. So you get your butt against the mm -hmm. wall again and push down. And remember when I said you need to relax. So, relax your muscles. And that's all the stretches I have for you. Um, I hope these were helpful. Um, try them out. Pick and choose your favorite one. Like, I didn't like some of them, which was the last one. But still, try your best. And uh, make sure you subscribe um, if you want to. You don't have to. And you can also follow me on t Instagram and Tumblr. And I kind of don't really use Twitter because I don't know how to use it. It's Shalini Dolly um, with an I. So, yeah, good luck and have a great day. Bye.